everyone. It's Jeff again, and I'm here to talk a little bit about something that I kill nearly every day, tumbleweeds, as they blow across the highways of America. Some thistles, like this one you see in the American desert, are actually kind of pretty. But tumbleweeds are a thistle also, but as you can see, they're not very pretty. My story begins today in the tiny little town of Scotland, South Dakota. In 1870, a group of recent Russian immigrants gathered in a small community hall and discussed the fact that their crop yields were minuscule in comparison to where they came from in Russia. I guess I should backtrack a little bit and explain how the immigrants got in the Midwest. The railroad companies offered extremely cheap land and cheap uh, railroad fares to get new immigrants to move into the vast interior of the United States where they could buy land and farm. And the posters promised a Garden of Eden. And in reality, it wasn't. It was actually a very, very harsh, bleak, desolate place to come. I imagine it was quite a shock to get off of a train in the middle of South Dakota in 1870 after seeing the posters that the railroad companies were putting up promising a Garden of Eden and what they found was very much not. The northern states in the United States have extremely long winters, very short summers, a very short growing season with limited water and limited trees. It was anything but what they were promised in the posters the railroad companies were putting up. Getting back to South Dakota. In the meeting that they had at the community center in Scotland, South Dakota that we talked about earlier, they decided that the problem was the varieties of stuff they were trying to plant and grow was not as good as what they had in the steppes region of Russia where they came from. And at this meeting, they decided that they were going to write home and ask the people of their village where they came from if they would send them some seeds to plant here in South Dakota. The people of their village sent them a trunk and inside the trunk was several varieties of wheat seeds and also flax. Inside the flax seed was an unintended hitchhiker, tumbleweeds. If a tumbleweed has a favorite thing, it's fences. They love fences and highways. This is Hanford, Oregon. Interstate 84 was closed for 10 hours while they cleared them off of the highway. This is Victorville, California, where over the course of three days, they spent $100,000 removing tumbleweeds because they were a fire hazard. Scientists of the day recorded how long it took the new immigrants from Russia to travel from Scotland, South Dakota, and it was discovered that in 1885, they rolled across the beaches of New Jersey and the beaches of California. It took 15 years to cross an entire continent. I think a creditable argument could be made 
that Victorville, California suffers from tumbleweeds more than anyone else. The Santa Ana winds that blow in Southern California spread them far and wide. They are very much hated in California because during the fire season, oftentimes they roll along and spread the fire. This tiny little tumbleweed blowing in eastern Idaho, crossing the road as I go to pick up a load of hay to take back to Omaha, looks extremely harmless. Yet, it probably contains 10,000 seeds which it scatters quite effectively as it tumbles along. The Indians called them white man's plant because before the white man showed up, they never saw them before. I'm afraid they're too far spread to ever eradicate now. We're just gonna have to learn to live with them, like death and taxes. It was said the first thing to grow back at the Trinity nuclear test site was tumbleweeds. I leave you now with a couple of pictures of some tumbleweeds preparing to start their journey across the American desert. And as always, I end my video by saying, be good to one another, do good deeds, think good thoughts, and I will see you again.